What's up zombie killers everywhere and today we're gonna go through a walkthrough of how to get the pack punch on shadows of evil First of all what you're gonna do is come open this gate and then you're gonna turn around and go back to the curse over here so you can become the into the beast and Now you're gonna shock this break that and then you're gonna go over there and break a box and Go out here. And you're gonna shock this other electrical box and then you're gonna grapple up to the top and once you go up here, you're just going to run straight through the building right to the outside. Keep to the right hand side. And then you're going to go down here and shock this box right here as well. And after that, basically, you have that area, little area done. Uh, now all you're going to do is get enough points to go into the water, waterfront district. Which you can see I'm doing here. You also need to make sure you grab the summoning key, and also over here you're going to grab the pen so that you can do the summoning ritual. The summoning ritual is pretty easy to do, All you, gotta, you don't even have to really kill anything, you just gotta make sure you survive. You run in circles, train them around, just make sure you, they don't attack you, make sure they don't kill you. So here, as you can see, we're going to go up to the top, and into this room where the summer, summoning ritual is going to be summoned, where so you could get the... The little worm that you get at the end as, as you can see here I'm not even shooting at them I'm just gonna run around in circles and make sure they don't attack me and make sure I don't die and at the end of this the guy's gonna start screaming in the middle and everything that's in the room is gonna die so you don't have to worry about having to kill anything or anything like that as you see right here and as you see the ritual is over we're gonna get the worm and head right outside to the waterfront district you're gonna open the gate to the waterfront district and go inside and you're gonna shock the electric box to the right which is gonna open one of the gates as you see right here we're gonna become the beast again you're gonna shock this box you're gonna run straight down grapple up to the top you'll see a little grappling sign turn around there's a grappling sign there and then you're gonna melee the box that's right here you're gonna jump off over the fence you're gonna run straight down to where the little dock is you're gonna break this and there's your next summoning ritual you got to do so now now all you got to do is get enough points so you can open this gate that's down here which I don't have and then you're gonna also need to remember to pick up this belt right here so now all you got to do is just get enough points to open the gate as you can see I now have enough points to open the gate so we're gonna go ahead and go down and open the gate this gate right here same spot waterfront district you're gonna go all the way down you're gonna see the gate and then you're gonna go back down to the dock where you can start the summoning ritual and in here basically all you're gonna do is the same exact thing as the first one the same thing's gonna happen on this one all you gotta do is run around, survive, make sure they don't kill you. But at the end of this one, there's a little surprise. Because you're gonna spawn the, the little monster guy. The one with the three heads. All you gotta do is shoot the head when it's glowing, and then you're good to go. And then over here, you're gonna go through the water. From the waterfront district, you're gonna go to the canal district. And make sure you break the two gates that are in the sewer. There's a big one and there's a little one, and then you're gonna go over here into like a little portal looking thing, you're gonna shock it, you're gonna go up the stairs, and grapple up to this building, and you're gonna run, jump right off here, go down the stairs, and look to your right, right hand side, and there's another electric box which opens this gate so you can get in to the little, the little rabbit, whatever the heck it's called, I don't know exactly what it's called, you're gonna go up there, that's where you're gonna have to go to start the next ritual, And but you gotta make sure you go down back into the sewer to get the badge. Or you can't start the ritual, so you're gonna go back up the stairs, right over to these stairs. You're gonna make a left here, and you're gonna go into this building that's straight ahead, not straight ahead, to the right. You'll know it's the building because inside it's glowing really, really bright red and pink, and just looks kind of fun, like a fun place to go. So you're gonna go in here, do the same exact thing, start the ritual. Same exact thing is going to happen, you just got to go through it, make sure you don't die, make sure they don't attack you, and as soon as that's over, you're going to go all the way over here to where the theaters are, you're going to you're gonna see the big theater right in the middle, you're going to have to become a beast again, and you're going to grapple up to the top, 
and once you get up there you're gonna turn right around and right behind it is an electric box you're gonna look over here to where this grappling thing is and then you're gonna make a left and jump up here which I fail right here but it basically doesn't matter because I'm gonna go right here and shock this box which opens this gate and run straight up to the top and jump onto this little ledge here and break the box which is gonna drop the hair piece at the bottom as you can see in the next clip you gotta get enough money to get through this gate right here just so you can get it I didn't have enough so I went and got enough money for it and as you can see here's the hair piece you're gonna take the hair piece into the hotel and start another ritual it's exactly the same as all the other ones you just place it on the little summoning ritual table thing and start the ritual and at the end you get another monster guy but you know how to do that it's pretty easy to shoot the glowing faces so just make sure you survive this don't die but just remember at the end you're gonna get the little monster guy again well not a little monster guy he's pretty big then you're gonna go back to the canal district and back into the sewers where the rift is you're gonna open the rift and go inside of the rift as you can see right here, we're going to open the rift and go right inside of there. And then, what you're going to do, once you go inside of there, there's just going to be a freaking bunch of those little... What are they called? I don't even know what they're called. Just a bunch of those little floating guys. You're going to go to this wall right here. And it's going to open. Once you once you've completed all the steps, this wall is going to open. So you're going to go in here, and you're going to turn to the right, and there's a little thing right here where you gotta put your little worm and then you go to the left and place another worm and then what you're gonna do you're gonna run on the wall you can either go on the right wall or the left wall doesn't matter as you can see here I went to the right one could have went to the left one it's a lot shorter I don't know why I went to the right one but we're gonna go to the right one run across and go up here and place the worms on these two the one on the left I'm doing it first and then we're gonna go over to the right side and do this one and that's basically going to complete the little puzzle thing so that the pack punch can be unlocked. Then you got to come over to this table, you got to start it, which is going to bring out all the little flying dudes, make sure they don't kill you. It's going to basically the same thing, you just got to make sure nothing kills you, just survive. I almost die in this part. Just make sure you survive and at the end everything, is, everything in the room is going to disappear. They're not going to disappear, they're all going to die just like all the other rituals you got to do. So just make sure you survive it. And right here we're going to run across the wall. Go into the middle. And it's about 5 seconds away from being over. Or less than 5 seconds. And then as you can see here we're going to spawn this guy right up top. And then you completed it. Pack a punch is open. And it didn't take that many rounds. It was barely round 3 did it uh, with one person. So you can imagine if you had a full team. You could do this probably within round one if you guys had got enough points. So all you got to do is follow these steps and then you'll get, get the pack a punch. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.